Hi guys, welcome back to Jaden Crafts. And today I'm gonna show you how I end and display my wall hangings. So let's get started. Okay, so I finished this very, I would say, elaborate wall hanging. As you can see, I have tons of strings that are like just from the back and I need to cut off because of how many color changes I do in this wall hanging. So this is gonna be a fun one. So this is a very, very thick pattern and I wanna end it right. Wanted to show you how I do my wall hangings, well, end my wall hangings and like put them up on my wall back there. And my filming setup is a little bit different because I don't know where my tripod is, so I have to like balance different items. So if the phone falls, then you know the reason. But first, what I like to do is just kind of straighten it out because not everybody's alphas are going to look good. And personally, mine never look good. I always have to like adjust the rows a little bit. So I sometimes do that. I'm just using a Walmart gift card that I got from uh, Christmas time or like winter time. And you can use a credit card. <laughs> Wouldn't recommend your own credit card, but like some card that you can use to straighten out the edges a little bit. Just tug at the knots. And yeah, I think it looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off all of the tape and stuff so then I can cut the back of the strings so then they're not showing in the final product because we do not want that and we want it to look nice and clean I just have this taped down to my desk I just taped down the like dowel thing and I knot from there so this is not I literally cut off like most of the strings up here, so this is not even all the strings that I had to put into this alpha. But yeah, it's a little bit wonky because it's a thick alpha and like literally so many colors. So then I just take it off of my workspace and it's super cool. Oh my gosh. This is a huge one with a ton of strings. So basically what I do is I just find the strings and I cut them all off, but I don't wanna cut too close cause then I'm kind of scared that it will like fall out. So then I leave a little bit of extra, but not like too much to where it's like a lot. You know what I mean? But yeah, just gotta nav navigate through them. And if I see like a big loop like this, or there's a ton of string that's just like hanging there, I'll just cut it. Just like a normal piece of string. hard with the like last row because you don't want to mess up the last row so you want to be kind of cautious about that so I would leave a little bit extra just to be on the safe side okay I think we're all done that is a ginormous amount of color changes like look at that that's just, like an artwork in itself so after I do that, I turn it back around, make sure it's straight on the dowel because we want it looking nice and pretty for the final. And in my case, for me hanging it up on my wall, which I will also show you how to do that as well. Super fun. So I had to tape it up a little bit so then you could see the square knots that we're gonna do. This is basically all like the space that we need because we are just working on the bottom. And for this part, I usually go through the scraps that I cut off and look for square knot like colors that I could use from the pattern because I like kind of correlating with the pattern in the square knots, you know what I mean? So I think 
I will divide the square knots into four different sections. So then I can do green, blue, yellow, and pink to match the pattern. And if I don't have enough of a scrap, then I'll just use the actual string so we can make the square knot to end off the wall hanging. And you don't have to do square knots, but that's personally what I like doing because I just know how to do it and I think it looks kind of cool. I don't know. People have different preferences, but that's my preference. I just like doing square knots because I know how to do them and they look kind of clean, at least I think. <laughs> now that we have our scraps, I would say about like this long, maybe the size of like your forearm. Let's go with that, like the size of your forearm. <laughs> but now we want to do some math. Ooh, math time. I think there's like 40 strings, so it would be this string. And 40 knots, so that's actually very perfect for my situation. I just have to divide them up into 10 strings. 3, 6, 9, 10. 3, 6, 9, ah, 10. 3, 6, 9, 10. 3, 6, 9, 10. Oh, it's a little bit uneven, so I'm just going to move it over one string to the left because we have one string that's kind of up so it doesn't look as wide and it'll look more even so i have 11 10 10 10 and basically what i do is a square knot and i'll do like a little mini tutorial of a square knot just to help you out if you don't know how to make a square knot so I take my little scrap and I place it under the 10 strings or however many strings you have. Make sure they're about even, doesn't really matter, but I want to place it up there. And what we're going to do is you're going to place the right side over your, sh your base strings, place this string over this one, and then under your base strings to pull it through on the other side. And then you would just pull that and pull this and you have one little square knot. And I'll do that again. I just like pressing it up and tightening it like that, like pulling at the base string while tightening the square knot. So next we're gonna do the other side. And this time I'm going to place the left string over the base strings. And the right pink string is going to go over the left string right there to make a little T. And then we're going to bring it under the base strings and pull it under the little circle right there. And then just take it, take it, and pull. And then you have a cute little square knot. But I, I usually like doing like five or six maybe. This time we're gonna do the left side again. Whatever side the knots cross over and make a T on, that's where the little hump is gonna be. So we did that side and then this side. Now we're gonna do this side. So I have my T on this side, bring the left string under and under the loop and then pull it again. And now I'm gonna make the right side hump. So we're gonna bring that over, bring this over, and then under the base string, under the loop, take it and pull. And then I'm going to do one more just to make it a little bit more secure. Pull that over, make a T on the left side, pull it under the base strings and under the little loop on the right side, and then we pull. So yeah, that's how I make my cute little square knots and I'm going to do the rest of these and I'll see you when I'm all done.
Oh my goodness. Okay, so that took a little while, but we got through it. And now we need some pretty sharp scissors to make these all even. And you want to make sure that they're pretty straight so then you can have some pretty clean cuts. And this part is a little tricky, but I think we all got it. So I'm just going to cut across. Oh gosh. This is always very scary. Oh gosh. Did I make a clean line? Hopefully. <laughs> okay, so I like to cut mine kind of short, but for my little car one that I did over there, it is the str base strings are a little bit longer. So it really depends on what you like for your wall hanging, for your project. It is all your call. You can do whatever you want. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. If I can fit it in frame. There we go, it's so cute. So now I am going to show you how to display it and you can tie a string right here and the other half, the other end right here and you can hang it as like a, like a one tack thing, you know? And you can tie it on both sides if you wanna do that. But I like to put two tacks right here and then just hang it up on the wall. That's my preference at least. And yeah, let's go show you how I do that. Okay, so for this part, I just use two clear tacks, but you can also use like um, colorful tacks and stuff like that. Mine are just clear, so then you can't really see them. You know, we want to look at the beautiful masterpiece and not the tacks. So I just use that and I don't know if there are any different ones, but I just use the ones that look like this. So then you can place the dowel right there and you'll be all good and dandy. So I have to put up this chair or bring the chair so then I can get up to the beautiful collection of wall hangings. <laughs> My shadow is crazy, but we're gonna go up there and I'm gonna show you how it's done. Okay, so we have gizmo right there and as you can see, there's a tag right there, tag right there. And then for waddles, I did the little string thing where you tie it right there, tie it right there, and then you just hang it with one tack. And I just did little ties and you you know, you get the gist of it. And then we have blue bug right there and then the little cute kitty cat and then the Halloween one and the cute little sunshine. So this is gonna be a very hard angle, but I have the thing over here. I think I might put it up there or there. I think I'm gonna put it up there. I don't know. Um, this is a weird angle, so I'm gonna try and figure something out. What happened was, is I had to move my whole freaking bed to be able to get up to the spot, because it's literally so high and I can't reach it because I'm literally so short. But basically what I did is I put in the tack where I wanted one side to go, and then I'm going to place it up here, and then place it up here and then basically put it in where I want the other side to go and make sure that it is straight so then we can have a pretty perfect line and voila, you have your wall hanging. Definitely could not have done that with one hand. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this collection and I think it looks super cute. Oh my gosh, super cute. And you will see a close up and more facts about it in the March wrap up. So stay tuned for that. But to the outro, peace out. <laughs> so that was very eventful. Um, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial that I did of how I end my wall hangings and how I display them for you all to see. I think it is super cute. Love the smiley faces. But if you would like to make this wall hanging, go on a little journey, you know, filled with strings and uh, a lot of tape and a lot of color changes, then the pattern is 76043 on bracelet book. So yeah, a little pattern number for you if you would like to make this very cute wall hanging. But yeah, that is the whole video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below and I mean, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well because, you know, that would be very appreciated by me and you 
be in the crafty community. We are pretty freaking awesome and we're almost a 2k. Legit insane. If you want to be a part of this wonderful journey that we are all on, then be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I hope you have a marvelous day and yeah, bye guys. Thank you.